Hello everyone, my name is Maxim VDW, and in this video I will show you how to use settings in scoreboards for placeholder replacing. So um, this is the default feather board for scoreboard. Um, well, this is how the configuration looks. Uh, you have the lines, uh, the title, uh, header, and some labels and the information and so on and so on. Now. If I were to change the yellow color you see for the player info, news, site and server info, I would have to change the color in each of these lines. So I would have to change this to, for example, uh, let's say red. And this would only change it for server info. So if I reload, server info will be in red. So how settings actually allow you to um, create uh, placeholders that are scoreboard specific. Um, now, what do I mean with that? Because placeholders as a very, well, it's very important in scoreboards, but they are used differently, um, but they work the same. So basically a placeholder is something that will get replaced uh, with whatever you want. Uh, for example, you have a player placeholder that replaces with the player name. But these are settings that actually you can put in your configuration file and they will replace throughout your whole scoreboard configuration. And um, this can be useful for colors, text, uh, you can make easy, t easy translations or whatever. Uh, but for now, let's just make the colors of the labels configurable so you have like a section called lines in front of that or after uh, behind it but i prefer to have the settings on top uh, you just create another section called settings uh, make sure you use the right uh, indentation like with the spaces um, and uh, you can name these settings whatever you want. There are some static settings that actually change things to the scoreboard, like the way it assigns or um, if it's enabled or not. But you can make up the names of all the settings and uh, you can use them in your config file. So if I'm going to change the label color, and this is just a name I'm giving, and I'm saying that it's red. So I created a setting called label color. And if I want to change the color in my of my labels, I just want to change it over here and not everywhere in all the lines. So in order to do that, you just replace everywhere you configured the color static. You use dollar sign setting underscore in the name of your setting. So in this case, label color and the dollar sign again and this will replace with label color at the start of uh, when, when the scoreboard is loaded so if I just replace this everywhere over here, over here um, server info, I think I've got them all, yes and if I reload you will see that um, I think I forgot some, yeah I forgot the player info one sorry about it but as you can see, the color is changed everywhere. So I can change it to, for example, I wanted to have to be gold. So I change it to the gold one. I reload again. And as you can see, everything is changed. So yeah, this is a quick example of how to use settings. Um, of course, you can use them for different things. Like if you want to make the text configurable or whatever um, you can just create a setting for it and um, then it's easy to edit on one place and it will replace throughout your whole configuration file I see this feature being more useful for um, scoreboard designers that sell or um, distribute their config files um, because it allows for their users to easily change things uh, in the appearance. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something and well, 
See you soon.